Hello beautiful souls and welcome. My name is Ashley and I am a first time mama who is currently 22 weeks pregnant. Today I am sharing my experience after hearing concerns from my midwife following our 20 week anatomy scan. And I'm hoping that by sharing this video, I can help provide support to other mamas out there who may have received some unexpected news. So if you are interested in hearing about why we are getting a follow-up ultrasound appointment and how I'm, I've been handling that news, then keep on watching. So this is our first baby and we went in for our 20 week ultrasound. I've never had an ultrasound before. This is actually our first ultrasound but it seemed to go as expected. The ultrasound tech was identifying all the parts of the baby as she, went to, as she was taking snapshots. And we got to see our little baby move and we got to see its sweet little face, which was so nice. And the only time throughout the experience that anything was brought up that concerned me was when she was looking at the baby's brain. And she kind of casually asked while she was looking at baby's brain if we had done the genetic testing. And we had it. And that was kind of it. She didn't like touch base on it anymore. Um, she just said, oh, okay, and just kept kind of doing her thing. But I was super uneasy about her asking me that while she was looking at the baby's brain and so a few minutes later I had asked if everything looked okay and she said that everything looked great as far as she could tell. She did need me to get up and move um, and reposition so that she could get better pictures of the baby's heart but I did that and she got the pictures and that was that. We were on our way and we had anticipated that everything went well and everything looked good. So about a week later, I received a call from my midwife that she wanted to send me for a follow-up appointment with a doctor that she admires and trusts at a completely different facility that actually specializes in maternal care. And she was telling me all about the doctor and the facility and the policies and procedures and how great it is. And the whole time I'm thinking, what is wrong with my baby? What's going on? And so of course I ask, what, what are your concerns? And she said that the baby was measuring small. So apparently the baby was measuring in like the fifth percentile, so very small. And so she was concerned and I was, you know, racking my brain as to why the baby would be measuring small. Um, I ran a couple of things by her and then that was that. We had to wait to schedule a follow-up appointment with this new facility. So my immediate reaction was, as soon as I hung up the phone, was to just break down in tears. I just started crying immediately. I was not expecting to receive that phone call, especially after our appointment when I had thought that everything went well and that the baby looked great. I was just really taken back by that. And it was funny because I was crying, but at the same time I was telling myself that I I know everything is okay. Like in my heart, I felt like everything was okay, but obviously like when you get unexpected news like that, you, nobody wants to hear that something doesn't seem right with their baby. And so it just really took me by surprise. And the rest of the night I was in this conundrum of, feeling in my heart that everything was okay, but then I would have these fear-ridden thoughts about something being wrong, and I couldn't get it out of my head that the ultrasound tech had said 
had asked us about the genetic testing when she was looking at the baby's brain. For whatever reason, I just couldn't get it out of my head. It didn't sit well with me. And our midwife had only mentioned the baby's size, but it was just driving me stir crazy. And my husband, I have to say, was wonderful. He was super optimistic about it. He just chalked it up to our dates being off, which was a complete possibility. And that was that. So the big reason I wanted to share this story in this video, of course, to document everything that's going on with this pregnancy, but also I wanted to share what I feel really helped me in this situation. And hopefully it can help someone else. The number one thing that helped me in this situation was changing my mindset. So instead of allowing fear to control me, I decided to embrace trust. Trusting my baby to be whoever he or she was intended to be. Trusting my body to help support me and my baby through this season of life. And trusting the universe to provide the experiences that are necessary to fulfill our dreams and our destiny. And, you know, I actually thought if something is wrong, is it really wrong or is it exactly right? Is it exactly the way that it's meant to be? I just thought about my little baby and I thought, whatever is going on in there, this is the only thing that this baby has ever known. And I have to trust that this baby knows exactly what they're doing and they have a plan for themselves. And why should I be fearful when I know that this baby isn't fearful? And just having that thought process and changing the direction that my thoughts were going really, really did help and it's helped a lot. Um, the other thing that I will say that helped was getting clarification from my midwife because I just, I couldn't get it out of my head that something else could have been there or could have been seen. And at the time that she had called, I, I think I was just so surprised and taken aback by the phone call. I was nervous to ask a lot of questions. So I actually followed up with her and I just wanted to confirm that her primary concern was with the baby's overall size and that there wasn't something in particular, um, you know, with the baby's brain or the baby's heart or the baby's spine that she was also concerned with because if that was the case, I wanted to just feel a little bit more prepared. Now, not that that can't happen and and they still can't find those things because they totally could. But I just wanted to, like, I just wanted us to be on the same page. And I wanted to not go into the ultrasound blindly. And so that also helped me a ton, just getting that clarification. So what's next? We have a follow-up appointment scheduled and I'm really excited and looking forward to seeing our, our sweet baby's face again. I've been really trying to focus on that and finding the joy in that. It's, it's really been helping me. And I, yeah, I do, and just trusting whatever is meant to be will be. And I'm kind of letting go of control of that situation because it's not up to me at this point. If you are a mama out there and you received unexpected news, then I hope that this video helps just to give a different perspective and maybe it'll help you to kind of embrace that thought process um, that's really just helped me remain calm and at peace because I think that that's so important. And you know, if you are 
going through a difficult time in your pregnancy and things aren't going as necessarily planned, I am sending all of my love to you and lots of positive vibes. I just want to send all of my support because that's one of the reasons why I started this channel was to support other mamas out there and just go through this journey together. So please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to follow along our journey. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.